In this video, I thought I would do dual wield on my pistol. Now, I've done this before, but I've cleaned it up quite a bit. Now I think it's pretty sweet. If I want to shoot with the left pistol, I just click with the left. There he goes. I want to shoot the right. Bra. And if you have cooldowns and you want to upgrade your pistol, all you have to do Boom, boom, boom. That's pretty good. That's a pretty sweet upgrade. And this works for mobile too. Oh, you gotta be careful though. Every time you click, every time you click, a shot goes off. This works for mobile too, but in mobile, it only alternates. You don't have as much control. Sweet. I thought that was cool. Let's go ahead and get started with our dual wield. Now I'm going to start with the simple pistol. I did it in the video Gun Basics. I'll put that link in the description. But if you didn't do that, we could go over here. I'll put this link in the description for the store for the, it's just called pistol, right? I call it simple pistol. And this will be like get model. But sometimes Roblox moderates my stuff. Uh, I don't have a lot of reviews and stuff on it because I just use it for instruction. So I made this game, shoot pistol, copyable. You could go here and then you could edit in the studio. You could grab that pistol. It's going to be almost identical. I have it in the starter pack. It's just it has the tagging for the points and stuff, but it won't interfere with our dual wield. You could use either of those pistols perfectly fine. So assuming you got that, we'll go with, with this one right here. Come on down to your game and then we'll go to toolbox. You should see it in there under inventory if you got it. There's one of them. I got lots of them, right? There we go. Yeah, two scripts. Cool. Yeah, that's, uh, no, let's not put it in the backpack yet because I want to fit it with my rig because I need to get two of these in his hand. Or I guess I should say one pistol for each hand, right? We're going to left pistol and a right pistol, dual wield. I'm going to get rid of that spawn location. It's right my way. So I'll just hit spawn location, delete. We don't need it. And let's get a rig in the world so we can try and fit that pistol. Let's go here, avatar, I'll do rig builder, and I'm gonna do R15, if you're doing R6, select R6. If you don't know, do R15, that's the default. So do my avatar, and then we can see how this fits. I imagine it's gonna fit well. Drag it into the rig, boom, there it is. Now remember, your pistol's in the rig, so you gotta remember where it's at, if you just did that. Now I'm gonna get an accessory for my left pistol. Right, everything is gonna be in this pistol. We should call it like dual wield or something. Maybe we'll change the name. Instead of pistol, let's call this dual wield. I don't know if I spelled that right. Pistol, it's, uh, it's okay as long as you're consistent, right? You can spell the names however you want. Dual wield pistol. Those I's and the E's, they get flipped around for me. Now we need an accessory. Let's go to our workspace, hit the plus. Hit in A, because this is going to go in the left hand. Tools go in the right hand. Accessories you can put, pretty much put anywhere. And they're very similar to tools. So we'll call this, how about left pistol, right? And on the left pistol, we're going to need a handle. So the handle on my, on my pistol, I lost it already. Oh, yeah, I called it dual-wheeled pistol. I forgot. Um, the handle is the mesh, mesh part. So if I duplicate it, control D, and then I drag it up here to the left pistol. There we go, we're gonna have, that is gonna be the handle and the mesh part, the visible part. I'm gonna get rid of the bang and the touch interest. We don't need that. On the handle, I'm gonna right click, and then I will do, not right click, I'm gonna hit the plus, and then I'll do an A and add an attachment. Now the attachment needs to match the attachment on his left hand, the one that we want to use, and we're going to use the left grip attachment, right? So let's rename that, and then we'll take a look at it real quick. Left grip attachment. When you put the accessory on the humanoid, it looks for the matching name on the character. We go down here, here's our left hand left grip attachment. So if you're not sure of your spelling, this spelling matters, right? I'll go to name, I'll just do a control C to copy it. Make sure that that's spelled the same. Enter, there we go, and then it'll match up. Now let's plop this left pistol inside the rig and see what we got. Boom, right in the rig. Oh, look at that. It is in his, in his correct hand, which is the left hand, but it's not positioned right. 
that's all right. If you did simple pistol, you'll realize we had to do grip position with that because the mesh part wasn't quite facing the right direction. We can do the same thing with our left pistol. Let's open it up, go to the handle, open that up, get the attachment, right? We don't have a grip position because it's an accessory. We have to change the attachment. Left grip attachment. I'm going to hit the rotate and then we're going to go the opposite direction of where we want it to go because we're actually moving the attachment and not the mesh part. I want the mesh part to change 90 degrees clockwise. I'm going to push counterclockwise. Cool. And now I need that to sink down a little bit. So let's get the left grip attachment, hit the move, and then go the opposite direction. So I'm going to push down on the Oh, I'm going to pull up on the green. One couple of these. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's take a look down here. It's on the, his finger's on the third fin. I don't know if you can see those little fins there. But it looks like the hand. It looks like the hand. Uh, we're going to have to pull this. I think I'm going to go right. Maybe one. How is that? So we got the third fin here. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's pretty good. You might even want to pop it out there one more. But I'm not going to chance it on the video. That's going to be close enough for what we got. So you could fit it even better if you have time. All right, that's, that's looking nice. Now we're going to need three simple animations. We're going to need one holding the left pistol because it's not a tool. So we'll have to actually put that idle animation for the tool in there. And then we're going to do a kickback for each of the weapons or recoil. A lot of that, that's the proper name, recoil. I say kickback, but you know what I mean. Boom, goes up in the air. So let's go over to our dual wield pistol. We're going to keep all of the stuff, all of our stuff in here. This is the main, this is going to be the main model. Hit the plus, hit an A animation and it will duplicate this twice control d control d so i have three right we need three we're going to need one for right kick back right kick back we're going to need one for left kick back and we're going to need one for the left idle left idle Right. Let's go ahead and make those animations. Go to your avatar tab, animation editor, and I think I'll start on I'll start on the left. This arm. So that's the accessory. Click the rig and then let's call this how about left idle? Left idle. Alright. And I am going to make it an idle animation. So I'm going to set the animation priority to idle. Just before forewarned, this is working now where you could just uh, fire it off as idle in the tool and it'll, it'll work. But sometimes Roblox does updates and you may have to override it with a higher priority. But idle has been working. So I think it will continue to work, but I can't be positive. So I hit that animation, uh, animation priority. Oh, I must have messed up. Hit idle. There we go. And then we're going to go save. Let me check it again. That was a little funny. Okay, idle. All right, and now we're going to get this arm. And we're going to hold it just like the tool. We want it to match the tool. So a 90 degree increase should do that. I'm going to move back a little. There we go. Yeah. Now it's going to be simple, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the keyframes on the lower arm. I'm just going to press a little bit just so we get a keyframe. But I'm going to move it back if it moves. And I'm going to do that with a hand too. Right, there we go, we got it. We got a left hand, we got a left lower arm, we got a left upper arm. Let's hit the looped because it's gonna he's gonna be holding it. And then we'll do those three dots again, save, three dots again, and then let's uh, publish to Roblox right here. Publish to Roblox, cool. And it makes my window too big, so I have to make it smaller. So I can save it, left idle, that'll be fine. Boom, get that ID right here. ID copied, right? And then we're gonna go look for, there it is, that's the idle, left idle. And then I'm gonna leave this open. Hopefully you can see this right here. It says animation ID, it's the property of the left idle. 
animation ID, control V to copy it. There we go. Now let's do the kickback. All right, since we have our left hand up right here, let's go ahead and do the left kickback. So let's go to these three dots. And then I'm gonna do save as new, and that'll be left kickback. Save. And then I don't need it looped. And I'm gonna set the animation priority to action. All right, let's save it again. Let's save, good. Save, save often. And then I'm gonna get these three dots. I'm gonna copy selected. So I, I right clicked to bring that window up, copy selected, and I'm gonna make it kind of a quick, a quick upward movement. Let's do paste keyframes. Notice the scrubber bar is here. I'm gonna modify this. Oop, I gotta hit my rotate. I wanna pop it up. You could pop it up pretty high. How about two? Two should do it. And then um Copy select it again. I'm just gonna hold it for a second. Otherwise, it'll go away too quick when you're running. So we'll do paste keyframes. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Let's hit the three dots again. Check the animation priority. I don't know how that got back to idle, so let's make it action. I must have made a mistake. But it's good to check, right? There it is, action. Let's go to save. And then let's go to publish to Roblox. Remember that does have to be action. I don't know where I made that mistake. I'll, I'll go back and watch the video, but um, action. All right, left, kick back, save. Get those, get this ID here, hit those two boxes. Sweet, ID copied. And then we're gonna scroll back up to our dual wield. There it is, dual wield pistol. We're gonna look for our left kick back. Animation ID, the property under left kickback, paste, sweet. And now we just need the right, the right kickback. Let's go over here. Let's get a whole new one, right? Let's hit the three dots and then I'm gonna do create new and this is gonna be right kickback. Create. And I go here. This is also going to be action. Sweet. Let's, let's check again. I don't know how that one, that other one got messed up. Okay, action. Make sure you have action. I'll just save it. I don't need to change anything yet. I'm going to move this up. Right? And then we can put some keyframes on there. So it looks the same as the other side. Sweet. And just like the other one. Let's go ahead and copy these, copy selected. Go to here, this is what, the one, two, this is the second, this is the second frame. Paste keyframes, and we'll go out two more. I think that's what I did on the other one too. We want them to kind of, we want them to match, but maybe not, you might have two different two different weapons. All right, so uh, I, gotta, I gotta bump it up, right? So this one right here, the second keyframe, let's go to our upper arm, one, two, and then I should just copy that one, but I'll just move it. One, two, looking good. Pop. That's nice. That'll work. Let's get those three dots again. Make sure it is on action. And then we're going to save it again. And then we'll go to publish to Roblox. Straight. Move this window down a little bit so you can see your save button. And boom. ID. Grab that ID. Close it. And scroll on up to dual wield pistol, there it is. What is this, this is our right, this is our right kickback, right kickback. No ID, good, control V. And hopefully I didn't miss anything. We'll, we'll, go, we'll have to go back and fix it if we did, but I think, I think it's, it's good. Now let's move our, our left pistol into the dual wield model. I'm gonna close this window right here for the animation editor. Boom, and then here's our dual wield pistol that's the main one i'm going to get the left pistol i'm going to move it into the dual wield pistol right and now it's not on the character anymore that's okay we're going to do that with code when he equips the weapon 
So in order for this not to look funny, let's go to the handle and then let's make that invisible. Let's do transparency. I'll just hit a T. Transparency, there we go. Make that a one. Let's take a look at the shoot script on dual wheeled pistol. Here's our dual wheeled pistol. Let's go to the shoot, let's open it up. Very, very simple, right? Very short, very simple. I'll get rid of this print statement right here. And I'm gonna add a few variables. Local char equals nil. Say local hum equals nil. We're gonna use the character, the humanoid. We are going to need our left idle. And we'll just say gun, whoops, gun. Wait for child, left idle. And then we're also gonna need the left kickback, gun, wait for child, left kickback, and right kickback. So local right kick back, gun, wait for child, right kick back. All right, we need the tracks too. We'll just make the variables for the tracks. We do this, right? This is, I, I always get nervous doing this because it's the easier way to mess up. So here, let's just get rid of this. This is gonna be the left idle track equals nil. And here, we're gonna do the left kickback track, right? So that's the animation track. This is the animation. Animation track is when you, you load the animation into the animator on the humanoid, you're gonna get the track back and that's what you could start and stop, right? So we'll do that track, nil. All right, let's handle the event where somebody picks up the pistol. So we're gonna go down to equipped, right? We have our equipped and we have our connection. We'll keep that there. We'll do char equals gun.parent because they equipped, they equipped the gun and the parent will be the character. And we'll say the hum, that's gonna be from the char, we'll do humanoid. And then let's get the animator local. I don't need that to be global to the script. So I'll just say local animator equals hum, wait for child, and animator. Let's go ahead and, and create our track, or get our tracks, right? So we'll do a, a right kickback track all right this is this is easy place to mess up right here we got the animator load animation and then that's the right kickback right that's good that's going to be the easiest thing to mess up right right kickback but that's the right kickback track i'm going to copy these to make it even more likely for me to mess up and i'll do a paste and a paste and then we'll do a left kickback track oops that's a lowercase left kickback track. This is gonna be the left kickback. And then we need the hold too, right? So this one will be the left idle track. That's the hold. Oh, and I have track, track. Just be careful there. And then this one, let's just delete that whole thing right there. And then we'll do left idle, right? So make sure there's no tracks here. These are all animations. Make sure these are all tracks. Sweet. And now when we pick up, oh, you know what? We could actually do the fire. Let's try the, the recoil for the right, the, the right kickback, the right kickback animation here. So let's do right kickback track play. We could try this out. All right now, when we go to pick up the gun, oh, we're gonna have to move to the workspace. When we go to pick up the gun, grab the dual wheel pistol, the whole model, remember the left pistol's in there. We'll put it in the workspace. Let's make sure we can still see it, right? It's gonna be right here. Now remember, this thing's floating around out there in the world too, but that's all right. We just wanna get the visible one. Right? We're not doing anything with it yet. We're gonna clone it to the character though. There he is, there it is. Sweet, yeah. Now the thing is, the bang happens a little bit after the kickback, right? Because there's a little bit of a lag on the on the on the sound. We're gonna fix that. Let's turn this off. I'm gonna fix it easy. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. So I just went to the shoot script, and then 
right before we play the animation, just do a little wait. Oh, uh, maybe 0.15, maybe 0.2. Yeah, let's try at 1.5. You get the idea though, right? You can play around with it because you might have a different sound. It might have more lag or less lag. That's not bad. Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. Let's continue on. So turn that, uh, turn my player off. Went over to the shoot. When we pick up our weapon, our dual wield pistol, we want to equip two pistols, right? So let's open up dual wield pistol. It's no longer on the rig. Let me close the rig. Dual wield pistol. And there's the shoot. We're in the shoot right now. We are going to need another remote event because we're going to pick it up and then we're going to signal client side that we picked it up, but we want to clone it to our, or we want to move it to our character uh, server side so that everybody can see it. Otherwise, it's just going to be you seeing two pistols and not everybody else. And that's not going to be good. So let's do dual wield pistol. And then we hit that plus, hit the R for remote event. And then on the remote event, I'm going to make another one, another remote event called equip RE. So I just renamed that, right? So we have two. We have the shoot RE, we have the equip RE. Equip RE, let's go over to our shoot script, the local script. And then when we pick up our weapon, where should we do it? Underneath the humanoid. That's where I'm going to add this. Oh, you know what? I got to get a reference for my equip, my equip RE. Well, we're here, so let's add, let's add our code. We are going to have a reference for this equip RE. It's going to be a variable. Whoops. RE colon fire server. I want to pass the humanoid in. This is going to the server. We're going to use the humanoid for the add accessories uh, method. And then the true or false is going to say whether we're actually putting the weapon or we're picking it up or we're dropping it or putting it in the backpack, unequipping it, right? Putting it in the backpack. So let's go ahead and copy this. Control C. Let's go down to the unequip, right? Boom. And that's where the false is going to be, right? Because we're taking it off. And then we're going to do the, the left pistol stuff on the server side, but we still need a variable here, right? So let's just go up. Let's go up. And you want to keep the remote events together. Let's do that. You, you can put it anywhere up here. We'll do equip RE gun, wait for child, equip RE. All right, sweet. That's not doing anything right now except for firing to the server. So let's go and find our server script. I always call it damage, even though I do, I just do all the server stuff in the damage script. Open it up. That's just my convention. And while we're here, let's get that variable for the remote event, equip RE. And we'll say gun, wait for child, equip RE. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We're also going to need the left gun, right? Local left gun. Now here I should mention, we have the left gun in the dual wield. If you have a production game, there's a lot of dual wield models floating around. You might want to do this. You might want to just add one left pistol to replicated storage, and then you just have one copy, right? But this is gonna make the video a little bit easier and it will work. But if, if you get good, you get a lot of people in there in your game, you might just wanna have this in replicated storage. So right now what I'm gonna do is just do like a wait for child, and then we'll get a left pistol because it's in the model itself, right? Easier for the video, easier to kind of learn, but you know what I'm saying. It, well, if you don't know what I'm saying, just doing it this way. If you do know what I'm saying, move to replicated storage because you're at that level. I'm going to create another function under on shoot. Let's go ahead and scroll a little bit. We'll do local function on equip, right? This is the server side equip. Player's going to get passed in because this is coming from a client side remote event, right? We don't have to pass it. Remember, we did put the human there and then we had a flag, right? Uh, like the equip, the equip flag. How about equip FLG? And that's if we're putting it on or taking it off. 
Now, I'm not going to clone the pistol because each one of these pistols is in the dual wheel. The left pistol is in the dual wheel uh, model. But if you have it from replicated storage, this is where you do your cloning. All right, so we'll do if equip flag is true, right? We pass that over. We're going to say Hume add, whoops, accessory. And then we'll do left gun. And then we'll, and then we got to make it visible. Left gun handle dot transparency equals zero. And then else, well, where we're going to put it away. We'll say left gun. And in order just to pop that off the humanoid, I'm going to make the parent the gun, right? Or replicated storage. If actually, if it's replicated storage, you could just destroy it when you go to put it away, right? You just keep, it's just a clone. You just keep making new ones, right? So we'll do left gun handle transparency equals one. All right. Oh, and then we have to, we have to capture this. So let's go down here. Just like our on shoot, right? We'll have our on equip that we can, whoops, that we can connect. We'll get the on, that's not right. We'll get the equip RE, there we go. And then on server event, connect that. All right, get a little weary, right? We get getting out of here close to half an hour. Sweet. Now that, that should work. When we go ahead, let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try it, hit play. Here we go. There's the gun. Ooh, there's a pistol. We just got to get that animation working so you can hold it right. And sweet. Let's take, check the output window. That's looking good. I don't see any errors. Nothing big, red, and scary. Let's uh, put it away. There we go. Let's pull it out. Yeah. There's the other pistol. Looking good. Looking good. Let's turn this off. Uh, I think I'm going to close this output window to get some more room. Go back to damage. And I believe damage is done. All right, let's go to shoot. Remember, we have to get that idle, that idle animation for our left pistol. That's going to be easy enough. Uh, what do we need? We have all of our animations. When we do the equipped. Yeah, here we go. All that to do. Left idle track. Let's just play that here. And then when we put our weapon away, we can say left idle track stop. That should do it. All right, let's do it again. Let's just try this again. You should test often because if you make a mistake, you know about where it happened. There's our pistol. Let's go pick it up. And I want to check the output window too. view. There's the output window. We have a dual wield going, right? But only one's firing, right? If I hit my left mouse button, my my tool, which is in the right hand, is firing. So I'm going to make it so that if I do the left mouse button, the left pistol fires, right mouse button, right pistol fires. Let's put it away. Turn the player off. Get rid of the output window so we have more room. Go back to shoot. Let's scroll up to the top. Uh, not quite all the way to the top, but in the variable section, I'm gonna add a few more variables. I'm gonna do one for the mouse button. And remember, we want this to work on mobile too, right? But we're not gonna have as much control in mobile. So I'll do mouse button equals nil. And that's gonna be whether we hit the right or the left. And then we're gonna use the user input service, game get service, user input service and then we'll do local we need a flag to know if it's equipped or not right that way we can turn stuff off just just double check so we'll say is equipped equals false uh, let's see uh let's put the user input service up here right at the top so the the uh capturing of the input the input began event of the user input service, I should say. So user input service, input began, connect, put a function here. That's the input, and then we'll do the game processing event. All right, now that might be important if you wanna get rid of that uh, 
pistol firing because once you pick up the dual wheel the dual wheel weapon you're going to have a weapon in each hand whatever mouse button you hit it's going to be firing right so you might want to put some sort of flags or maybe have hold down the escape character or something like that so it doesn't fire or it does fire right now we're just checking to see is it equipped if it's equipped then if input user input type equals equals enum user input type mouse button one then let's give the mouse button variable some sort of indicator of whether it's left or right like a lot of people use the capital l for left and then we'll say gun activate we'll fire it right here what else can happen else if else if oh man getting tired input dot user input type equals equals enum user input mouse button two right you see there's a bunch of mouse buttons in there too we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do uh but we're gonna give it an, an r right so the two is the right one all right good good my right and left sometimes i have some trouble with and then we'll do gun activate are we good on that yeah now let's make sure that mobile people have have some use of the gun right so we'll say else if input user input type equals equals enum dot user input type and that's the touched event right we'll do the touch if it's the touch then how about we do this uh, i'm thinking let's add a variable for count it started at zero doesn't matter how high it goes I'll say if the count mod two equals equals zero. So if this is an even number, we're getting getting the remainder. If you don't know what modulo is, you just play around with it. You'll start to see the pattern. So if this is an even number, we'll say mouse button R and then gun activate, right? Just like that. Copy, paste, else mouse button equals L Let's move this up so you guys can see it it's probably an ad popping up down there You're like oh man I can't see it we'll do gun activate what else oh yeah and then I know what we'll do is we'll we'll increment our count plus equals one that should do it so it's just gonna go every other for the for the mobile people for us we have control if we do if we do the left mouse button boom it's gonna go left right mouse button it's gonna go right not quite yet though right we gotta do something else what we gotta do is we gotta go to activate activated and right under the weight right if mouse button equals equals right then we will play the right kickback else and then we'll do left left kick back track play you might even want to do this you might even want to do else if mouse button equals equals l oh and then then sweet uh we could after we fire you could do this right, just to clear it out probably not necessary um what else Ooh, uh, on our equipped right on our equipped we have to check to see or we have to actually set the flag as true and then when we take the weapon off is equipped will equal false nice i think I think that will do it. Let's try it out. Here we go. And there's my dual wield. All right, this is the left mouse button. 
Yep, left gun, right mouse button. Yep, good. Now the thing is, every time you click. So if you hit your one, you'll be all right. But when you go here, boom, you're firing, right? you're firing all the time because all your mouse buttons are hooked up. You could have something like where you hold down a shift, it'll do it. That's pretty cool though. Let's try it on the player so that we can do the, we could check it out with a mobile, a mobile app. All right, I'll just go ahead and, and do this. And on my phone, it's the PC Baker 0000. So I'm gonna save to Roblox and then I gotta make this public so I can play it on my alt. You hear permissions. I could do friends. There we go. Save. And I will I will bring up the player and then join the game on my phone. All right, here we go. I'm in the player. I'm gonna join the game with my alt on my phone. So we check this out. There he is. And let's see if we get that pistol. All right, he's on it. I'm just gonna start tapping things. Yeah. So we're going every other. That's pretty good. That's what I wanted. Let's see if we could shoot. Let's see if we could shoot me. All right, so I cut that video because uh, I look ridiculous trying to play on the phone. Anyway, the dual root wield works. Give it a try and uh, let me know what you think. I will see you in the next video.